well 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 hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am back on my channel i am back on youtube it has been four months since my last upload it has been four months since honestly the last time that i have put on a full face of makeup and it has also been four months since i have honestly even really looked at my channel Now, I figured it would be appropriate for me to just get on here and talk a little bit about my um, decision to leave YouTube, not leave, leave is probably not the best word, but why I decided to take a break from YouTube, why I decided to, um, I guess, take four months away from YouTube, um, especially after my channel, you know, just growing. So first of all, you guys, you already know if you have been following me since honestly the my very first youtube channel before i rebranded myself into sensei beauty you know that i am so passionate about makeup so passionate about doing makeup on other people love the art of it i love how it makes me feel i love how it makes other people feel it's a way that i express myself whatever you might use makeup for I felt like YouTube was a great way for me to put that out there. Anyway, that's all besides the point. I'm rambling. Let's get into why I decided to take a break. Obviously, I love YouTube. I love watching YouTube. I love being a YouTube creator. However, with the, I guess at, at the time, the place that I was in was not the best. I used YouTube as an outlet for me to get my, my my talent out there, to showcase what I love to do, to show people what I like to do. And for a while, it really was helpful for me. And there was a lot of things that I loved about YouTube. There was a lot of things that I loved about just creating videos in general. And then there was a side of YouTube and the side of being or being an upcoming YouTube creator that just didn't mesh well. I didn't understand how to mesh that not so fun side of YouTube and not so fun side of being creator with my passion. And it became confusing. It became cloudy. I started to be way more critical about every little thing, every little detail. I was just taking an extraordinary amount of time on correcting little things. My mindset in YouTube and makeup and everything has changed so much that I look back on my videos or I look back on how I used to be with my videos and I'm just like, that like is is just so mind blowing to me that I used to find these little things to nitpick and that was my exact downfall. My trying to be a perfectionist, trying to make sure everything's perfect, trying to make sure everything's right, kind of played the biggest part in me getting to a point where I felt overwhelmed. Um, getting to a place of feeling like it was just a chore. Like it wasn't fun anymore to me. My last couple of videos, like it just, they just started to feel very tedious. It started to feel very tiring. I, I almost felt an obligation to always have the camera on me when I was doing makeup, even if it was just for myself, even if it was just for going out. It's like, oh, I'm going out, throw a little quick makeup on. Oh, well, I have to document it. I have to post it, which yes, it is good to make sure, like to document your stuff, but it was, YouTube was becoming a thing in my life that was kind of oh, like it was overtaking everything else and I know that 
obviously if I wanted to do better, if I wanted to get bigger, I had to really go hard. But then I forgot about all the other things that I still had to do. I just felt overwhelmed. I felt tired. It, it got to a point where makeup was no longer fun for me. A lot of that had to do with myself not knowing how to balance. Um, you know, I tried to create a schedule. I tried to create a uploading on Tuesdays and Thursdays and which still works and I probably still will be sticking to the Tuesday and Thursday uploads. But everything behind the scenes was just chaotic so you guys would see my videos upload Tuesdays and Thursdays and some weekends but what was going on behind the camera was like like I was just a, I was a crazy person I was a mad person I was always 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 recording myself my perfectionism was so intense I'm not gonna say bad because I don't want to put like super negative words on it but my perfectionism was so intense that I would record hour long two hour long three hour long videos and I would delete the entire thing because of something that I didn't like or something that I felt like couldn't be changed or something that I felt like probably wasn't okay for me to say or was a little bit too funny or a little bit too quirky or a little bit too awkward I didn't know how to find that that happy medium like okay yeah this was awkward but I mean put it here and it works and just stuff like that what is that saying uh you try to chase five turkeys and you don't catch any I don't know something something along the lines of you're trying to do too many things at the same time and you end up doing nothing because everything is half done or nothing is fully done nothing is fully completed I took these past four months to reevaluate my situation to get in a better headspace um, to get down to planning and creating a, a, a solid plan for what topics I'm gonna do how I'm going to upload how I'm going to create and the biggest thing of all I invested in myself I'm pretty sure if you haven't figured out by now that I am not recording on my phone um, because that was another thing that was stopping me from just being great I was recording on my phone which you know you you do you use what you can while you can but my channel was getting bigger was slash is getting bigger my youtube videos were becoming more detailed and more you know in uh in depth and the phone just wasn't working for me anymore it just it i grew out of the phone stage just like when i first started my channel i grew out of the laptop phase out I, I started recording videos from my laptop that was the very first video i ever recorded was on my mac book 20 what 2015 laptop went on to using my phone my newest phone like I said it was great but it got to a point where first of all just this is just a sidebar and a disclaimer Apple is unbelievable when it comes to storage space okay so that's all I'm gonna say you know I I was running out of space I had footage like hours and hours and hours of, hours of footage that I couldn't put anywhere I couldn't get it off of anything I couldn't store it on whatever because it just you know when when your when your brand grows when your business grows just like anything when anything grows you have to grow with it and you have to invest and i had to realize that i i, I was i was over the phone stage like i couldn't the, there was no more room for me to use my phone i just i had to get out of it i had to suck it up bite the bullet and i had to invest in myself i had to invest in a camera i had to invest in uh, a memory card you know like like actual YouTube stuff and I am actually really really excited for this next series or this next whatever you want to call it this next chapter this next YouTube chapter I'm very very excited about because I have grown in my thinking so much over you know the course of four months um, kind of just took a breather 
and regrouped myself. Regrouped myself, thought about some things, worked on some things, realized some things, and learned some things. And now I'm back, okay? Um, obviously I am a, I, I am always going to be a student. So there's always things that I can learn. There will always be things that I will Im be improving on. So I'm not saying this to say, oh, I've learned all I can learn and I've done all my growing for YouTube. So then that's it. No, I'm saying that I have finally got to a place where I am comfortable creating videos again, creating content again. I am in a space of comfortability. I am in a space of peace and I am so glad that I invested in myself talking about mainly my new um, camera that I have purchased for myself for my channel because man oh man you don't know how good it feels <laughs> to be able to record a video on my camera and know that I don't have to worry about anything else taking up storage space. I don't have to worry about deleting apps and deleting pictures and doing all this transfer file stuff because everything is on a memory card. Okay? It's just... I have peace of mind now, basically. I have peace of mind. There's no more getting frustrated, no more waiting and, and skipping days to upload because I can't get the space on my phone and I can't use the app on my phone. Like, uh, those days are over. Those days are over and done with. I also just wanted to thank everyone who has supported me so far, who is still supporting me, um, because you guys, I mean, if it wasn't for the support, I don't think that I would be as far along as I am now. I would probably still be in my hobby phase. Or, I mean, it's still a hobby. It's still something that I love to do. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't have picked it up to continue. <laughs> There's a thing that I can do now where I can uh, zoom in and I'm still clear. Let me, let me show you. So, you know, if I go like this, wow, you could still see my face and it's clear. And that's pretty cool. I actually, I want to show you guys my, my eye makeup because we're not really spending too much time on makeup, but I did want to give a little shout out to my eyeshadow because like I said, I have not done makeup in four months. The last video that I ever did was the last time that I wore a full face of makeup. So, um, I mean, this video is not really about the makeup that I have on, but just let me just talk a little bit about the makeup that I have on, okay? So, um, I, I did this eyeshadow using this palette, and this palette is from Beauty Bay, and it is their pastel palette, and this palette is so pretty. And I figured that it would be really cool to do a little look. I mean, it kind of reminded me of springtime pastel colors, cutesy colors, bright colors. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning back in. If you are excited for this next chapter of YouTube for Sensei Beauty, if you are excited for these videos, if you are excited for the content that will be created for the remainder of this year, comment down below. Throw some hearts down below. Give me some red hearts, some yellow hearts, some blue hearts, and just let me know. Let, let me know that you're excited. Let me know that you're here for it. Let me know that you watched this video till the end and you click the notification bell so that you always know when I'm uploading videos. But yeah, if you're if you are as excited as I am, throw some hearts down below, comment, let me know how you're feeling about yeah, just I don't know, anything. Hit me up on Facebook. You know, you'll see. You'll see me. If you are not subscribed, which I mean, if you're watching my video, I don't know why, by the, by, by this time now, I don't know why you're not subscribed. I just, that's just kind of mind boggling to me, you know, but if you haven't subscribed and you're ready to be subscribed, just go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can be subscribed. And if you are already subscribed, 
thank you thank you so much for coming back i'll see you guys next week